Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. AirVenture Arrival Procedure Changes Recommended to FAA FAA ADSB Rebate Relaunch Rising And Introducing Hover 2, the 4K drone that flies itself. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's November 19th and this is Airborne Unlimited. A number of significant changes to the EAA AirVenture Oshkosh arrival procedures are being recommended by EAA to the FAA to create better staging and safety margins for incoming aircraft to Oshkosh. The weather situation on the weekend prior to AirVenture's opening day last year revealed several areas where air traffic procedures could be improved. We included pilot feedback in the working group review we created this fall, with group's recommendations going to the FAA this month as the agency has final determination on air traffic procedures for AirVenture, says Sean Elliott, EAA's Vice President of Advocacy and Safety. The review working group included those with expertise in GA safety home built aircraft safety, air traffic control, and mass arrival processes. The draft recommendations, which were briefed to EAA's Board of Directors last week, encompass three areas to be addressed. Procedure changes recommended to FAA, process improvements in education by EAA to pilots, and EAA and FAA working together to find innovative air traffic control methods for AirVenture. The recommendations will be forwarded to FAA officials for review by the end of November. Approved recommendations will be included in the AirVenture 2019 Notice to Airmen. Additional input can be made through November 27th at feedback at eaa.org. After the break, first lawsuit filed in connection with Lion Air, Flight 610. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Attorney Curtis Minor has filed a lawsuit on behalf of one of the passengers on Lion Air Flight 610 against Boeing, who built the Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft that crashed October 29, 2018. We have filed a complaint against the Boeing Company in the Circuit Court of Cook County, Illinois, where Boeing is headquartered, on behalf of our clients, the parents of Dr. Rio Nanda Putrama who perished when the Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft crashed into the sea, Miner said. A T-38C Talon assigned to Laughlin Air Force Base, Texas, went down on base at approximately 7.40 p.m. local time Tuesday, resulting in the fatal injury of one of the two instructor pilots on board. The fatally injured pilot was Captain John F. Grosnio, 28 an instructor pilot with the 87th Flying Training Squadron at Laughlin Air Force Base. He was from Elk Ridge, Maryland, and is survived by his mother, father, sisters, and brother. Injured was Captain Marques Palyok, an instructor pilot also with the 87th Flying Training Squadron. 
Leonardo has inked a contract with Italy's Guardia di Finanza for 22 new generation AW169M twin engine helicopters. The contract, valued at $315 million, includes a comprehensive support and training package, which could be further extended with optional services, valued at an additional $112.6 million. Deliveries are expected to start in summer 2019 and to be completed by 2024. Bombardier recently confirmed the delivery schedule of its global 7,500 aircraft, with the first delivery planned in 2021. NetJet's original order for global 7,500 jets was among Bombardier's largest business aircraft orders in its history which also included Global 5000 and Global 6000 aircraft, as well as a Challenger 350 and a Challenger 650 aircraft. Aiden interviewed Bombardier's David Colil to get a progress report. Check out the new program, Aero TV, Bombardier at MBAA 2018. David Colil builds on string of successes. On our YouTube channel at youtube.com, slash Aero TV Network. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. FAA rebates are quickly being claimed by general aviation owners, equipping their aircraft with automatic dependent surveillance broadcast avionics. A month after the FAA relaunched its $500 rebate program, 1,438 rebates have been taken from a total of 9,792 available through October 11, 2019, as long as supplies last. 30 to 40 rebates are claimed on an average day. The FAA relaunched the program to encourage owners of fixed-wing, single-engine piston aircraft to equip with ADS-B-out avionics which will be required in certain controlled airspace beginning January 1, 2020, which is less than 14 months from now. Aircraft owners need to follow five steps to receive the $500 rebate. Purchase the equipment and schedule its installation. Obtain a rebate reservation code by reserving a position online. Have the equipment installed. Conduct the required equipment performance validation and get an incentive code. And claim the $500 rebate online using the rebate reservation code and incentive code. As with the earlier rebate program, the relaunch rebate program is available only to those who have not yet equipped their aircraft. In addition to the ADSB rebate reservation portal, the FAA's Equip ADSB website List FAA certified ADSB equipment and features an equipage database, searchable by aircraft type and model. After these messages, introducing Hover 2, the 4K drone that flies itself. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. Zero Zero Robotics has released early details for their new 4K-capable Hover 2 that follows in the footsteps of their pivotal Hover platform released two years ago. Hover 2 introduces an entirely new drone experience with innovations like optical radar and cutting-edge AI that enables obstacle avoidance and tracking features. The company is raising money for development and production of the aircraft on Kickstarter. You may select between four preset shots with auto frame, allowing Hover 2 to fly into position, frame, and capture the shot with a tap of a button, choosing between waist up, full body, backdrop, and bird's eye modes. 
OmniFollow keeps you in the frame from any angle. Unlike traditional follow modes, Hover 2 can follow you from the front, back, side, or switch between all three in the same shot. The optical radar is always focused on the direction of the movement, while the main camera is focused on you, meaning Hover 2 can avoid obstacles even while flying sideways or backwards. Hover 2's compact, foldable design allows for ultra portability and is available in a classic black version. Blast off mode controls the drone from up to 3 miles away when paired with a blast off controller. And airily enhanced propeller guards offer improved aerodynamics and increases flight time up to 23 minutes. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.